Okay, in this workshop, we're going to be talking about what's a pattern um, and what's the process that you need to do to, in order to create your your project, okay? First thing is a pattern, is kind of like it's a plan for what you want to do. So, for example, if I wanted to create, um, uh, I'm just going to go with something very, very simple, okay? Um, a, a smiley face. <laughs> we'll put that. Happy face, there we go, smile. And on the back, I wanna make it a cape, okay? So I'm gonna give this a cape. I don't know, that's, you know, yeah, there we go. That's, that's what my design is, okay? Now, the front and the back are the same size. So when you go about cutting out your fabric, whatever you choose to do it, whether it be felt or it is regular fabric, what you'll do for the back piece is you'll cut them out at the same time, okay? Now, if you are planning on drawing on the fabric, okay, what I would suggest is that you need to make sure that whatever you're drawing, just the back piece, back fabric, okay, not the eyes, not anything else, not anything else is gets drawn on, it's just the outline, the silhouette, okay? You would draw right on it, okay, and this would end up being the back of your, your sewing, okay, so you don't see like this, this gross. Um, when you cut any of the fabric, please don't cut the front with the front of the, the tips of the um, scissors, it won't help you, okay, you need to open up wide and cut little snips with the back, take it slow and it will go, okay. Patience is the way to go with this project, okay? So you cut them both at the same time, hold them so they don't slip and so that you're able to get the details. Now, a couple little tips. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, small, small details. So like, let's say I wanted to put like little fingers here, okay? Really hard to do on felt okay, and anything else, when you do these, you might want to consider having things a little bit thicker so you have um, the ability to sew them, okay? And if you want to stuff anything, you need to be a little bit thicker, okay? How thick? I would say if you were going to be doing a non-stuffed thing, okay, the width of your thumb, okay, if you want it to be stuffed, the, the length of your thumb would probably be better, okay? All right, so pattern. You're going to create it and you're going to cut it out. All right. Now the process is that you're going to cut both of them out at the same time. Okay. So the back and front get cut out first. Then you need to start worrying about each side. Okay. So I would put my back piece away and I'd start sewing and cutting the things for my front. Okay. When everything is sewn on the front, I would then take that one, push that away, and then worry about everything that's on the back. When you're done, okay, and both sides have their things on them, okay, I'm gonna move this over. That is when you put them together, okay, and you're gonna do the whip stitch. And you're gonna need lots of little string. And you're gonna do that all around. That's my example of whip stitch, okay? You're gonna go all the way around, because mine is a big circle. And you're gonna leave about an inch opening. And then you're gonna stuff the stuff in. in. You don't wanna be overstuffing it. You don't wanna be so hard, okay, that you're seeing fluff come out. All right, you don't wanna see fluff coming out. That's not, that's not a good craftsmanship. Um, and your stitches, when you do a round, you want them nice and close, okay? When you're finished, then you're going to close it up, all right? Um, other tips, I'm trying to think. Uh, just be aware of, you know, what needs to be done. Do not go sewing them both together to begin with, okay? That both sewing them both together is for the end, okay? And that's that workshop. Um, make sure if you're practicing cutting with um, any of the, the felt, okay, just to kind of like play around with. You can cut from the, the scrap bin, but make sure when you're doing it, it's with the back end.